Well, hello, YouTube, YTPC. Here we are in December, and just uh, what 22 days, shopping days left to Christmas, or something like that. This is the second, then, in the last mini series about uh, the tobaccos of Christmas future where I'm basically taking a tobacco that I think is one thumbs up and trying to get it to two thumbs up by uh, conceiving a blend and to do that I'm stacking the tobaccos. Housekeeping, this one, I need some extra light here I think. This one is a Stanwell Christmas pipe of 2013, which has a lovely silver, sterling silver clasp where it's stamped Christmas 2000, Xmas 2013, and it has a beautiful grain. It's a nice thick walled pipe. Very nice. It's not coloured or decorated like um, some other Christmas pipes but uh, I think in this discreet way just having it on the band is also very nice. And the lighter today is uh, my good old shed lighter here which is uh, what we call a Christmas card lighter from Star. Star lighters very inexpensive and this one had a sort of Christmas card thing on it and it works very well. I've got a one of those gas inserts here like that. And today's tamper is one of my homemade onward Christian soldiers. But fitting also for Christmas, of course. And as you see, I have a little bit of eggnog here in the Shed of Serenity. By the way, on the outside it's a TARDIS with a sign and in the inside It's the Shed of Serenity. <laughs> what I'm doing today is looking at Dan Tobacco again, which I gave uh, this lovely Christmas tobacco one thumbs up, which means it's very good and recommended to anybody. But I thought there was maybe a little something missing. And the question is, where, where do you think the flavor component could be enriched, which would be suitable and fitting with the tobacco? And I thought in this case, a bit of chocolate might be nice because it's uh, fairly vanilla forward. Some background tones of chocolate, but not that strong. As I said, you could take the direction of fruits or dark fruits and or you could take the direction of spices and ginger and other things like that. It, it always depends on the tobacco and where you think um, your intuition says that might be the direction because um, otherwise there's just so many experiments you could do it would take you years. <laughs> Well, I did try this um, one with my very best chocolate, Tobacco to Chocolate, uh, which I got from Jeffrey Alton Carter, the Renaissance Piper, and it's clearly the best chocolate tobacco I have. But it's very rich, and um, there's always a question of the compatibility of one tobacco to another, and it 
tended to overwhelm even at only 30% um, mixing with the Dan Tobacco Christmas uh, tobacco that I was trying to improve. So um, I went to another alternative. Um, now, in one of my old videos, I tried um, Super Value chocolate tobacco, which of course is nicely inexpensive. And I had this jarred up, but I had I checked my notes and um, had good memories of it being a nice, uh, mild, but very clear um, chocolate forward tobacco. And I'm trying some of that now in this stacking. I had a bowl last night. About 30, I would, I'm ending up with the opinion that probably 30, maximum 40% with the last one, of course, the Peter Heinrich and Edward G. Robinson, I used 40% of Edward G. to get the cinnamon up to a level that I thought that's about right. But I wouldn't go beyond that. Otherwise, you might um, dominant, you might over dominate the original tobacco and you're kind of losing the springboard from very good to excellent because you, in overwhelming it, you're sort of taking your baseline a, a bit down. So I, it does uh, take a few experiments and um, your first attempt may not necessarily work, but I think it's worth trying two or three ideas. And, um, and if it, you think, no, it's not better than the original, then you leave it. Um, for example, the two thumbs up tobaccos which was the Kohlhaas and Kopp winter time and the golden days of yore from Cornell and Deal. I think I'll leave them as they are because um, they're already excellent. And, you know, I think if I tinker with it, it's more likely to go down than up. Well, this is definitely working. I think the enhancement of the chocolate to a point that both chocolate and vanilla are forward or maybe alternating as you go th through works very well. It's definitely got another half thumbs up if not uh, to the full two thumbs up but one and a half for sure so I think it made an improvement. Now, of course, you can always decide if you like it and you're absolutely sure that's always what you want to taste when you open this tin. You can mix in one with the other permanently. But if you're not so sure, uh, you can just stack it in your pipe. I have two layers here of uh, the Super Value chocolate and three layers of the Dan Tobacco Christmas Tobacco with the Dan Tobacco starting off, so I can measure against the baseline. That reminds me how the Dan Tobacco was. And you'll get pulses of the chocolate as you go down. And maybe you prefer to do it that way rather than homogeneously mixed all in the tin together. It's a little bit more fiddly when you stack you have to look for those two um, tins or jars that you were using rather than straight out of the mix all in one one uh, tin you can also just take some of your Christmas tobacco and some of the one you're mixing in and make a, a smaller jar of it and you keep all your options open that way very nice but I've learned um, don't overwhelm the tobacco so by all means take one of your better tobaccos for the flavor you're adding but um, some some may just not also in the nature of the taste be 
as compatible as you thought and don't hesitate then to try another alternative and your mind and your intuition will probably give you one or two uh, promising um, experimental candidates and I think you've got pretty good chances that one of those you'll think yes this is it this is the one to enhance the uh, Christmas flavor here and in this case about 30 percent of the super value chocolate I think is quite adequate and I'm sure the room note has also improved Well, in the last few days, just as I predicted actually, um, a little while ago, about two or three weeks ago, I was saying it's going to be a hard winter, the snow will come early, and it snowed yesterday, even here, south of Basel, which is the lowlands, so there must have been a ton of it in the mountain area, which I've just come up from. And um, I bet when I go down there again about mid, December, which we always spend our Christmas period down there, I will need my snow shovel a lot. <laughs> Very pleased my little heater here, if I put it on two bars and it's minus outside, it still keeps the temperature here somewhere above 15, which is, you know, if you're wrapped up a bit, absolutely fine. And I don't have any problem anymore with the cold winter air and, and wind, which uh, in the old days on my balcony in winter, you know, even if it wasn't that windy, just the moving frozen air would chill your fingers in no time. Well, um, there are some great offers, I'm sure you've all noticed on the internet, uh, some sad news regarding other tobacconists which are now uh, exiting the business and closing their doors because of law changes and regulatory changes. And I'm afraid we'll see this going on in the future. So it's a good time to get some of their blends because uh, maybe next year we won't have them available anymore. But on the other side, there's some very good offers coming out there. So one example is um, EA Carey, of course, which decided um, a few weeks ago to uh, announce they're closing their doors but they're making very nice offers so I've ordered one or two things from them and uh, I'm lucky the uh, British affiliate will actually ship to Switzerland so I'm gonna get an E8 carry pipe that's great to remember them after they've closed some lovely um, tobaccos uh, on offer as well and I'm trying to get some Peretti Yuletide tobacco. Um, I think their website kind of lets you put an address in in Switzerland or anywhere in the world but you have to ask them then to manually process it for the shipping cost because of course that's a, a less usual shipment but I'm hoping with a bit of luck, I'll have some left and I'll be able to get some of that. Maybe review that then um, next Christmas. So I've got several pipes on their way to me. And to be honest, uh, I'm going to have to put the, the full stop of any pipe acquisitions next year. Uh, well, as best I can because um, I've really got so, so many now and um, I have to show myself I can actually uh, not get any more pipes, but there are some beautiful ones uh, to find and suddenly come up, be the Christmas pipes from Savanelli, a year I didn't have, or um, I found some beautiful Prince pipes 
by actually one of them, a pipe maker in Switzerland. Uh, another one, I normally buy the one from Andreas Ritchie, which is superb, but there's another guy, um, Peter Roman, near Zurich, who uh, makes pipes and he repairs them as well. He's actually fixed a couple of pipes for me. And I'm looking forward to getting that one. Beautiful Prince pipe, but that will be the subject of a future video. I've actually got it to the point now that my mouth is watering. And that is where you want to get to with a good tobacco and tobacco mix. And if it does, when you buy a new tobacco and it does that, well done, because you're always going to love it. Your mouth will always be moist. The flavors will always be better. You will not get tongue bite because your tongue is nicely protected with all of that saliva. And basically your brain is saying, I like, I'm, my mouth is watering. So I give it two thumbs up, another success. But as I said, you have to try a few and accept the first try might not work uh, and try a different direction. Great. Well, ladies and gentlemen, not to ramble on too long from the Shed of Serenity. Um, really liked doing this series. Um, I won't do any more Tobacco's the Christmas Future because I think the other two that I mentioned, Winter Time from Kohlhaas and, and Cop and Cornell and Deal's Golden Days of Yore are perfect as they are. I will not try to improve them. So, may I wish you all a great start to your December and your run up to Christmas and enjoy yourselves and do a bit of shopping and have fun and have a drink as well. Cheers. So, take care everyone, look after yourselves, cheers, bye bye.